The Believer's Walk of Faith is paid for by Bill Winston Ministries partners and viewers. If you're in 3D, you're not going to get the blessings of 4D. When you're in 3D, you will not have dominion. So you got to watch yourself and see, are you in 3D? Are you in 4D? God is going to use you to do things that you never thought you could do because he's not going to give you understanding just with your mind. He's coming in with your spirit. Revelation gives me keys. See, there's a key to that infirmity. There's a key to the marriage problem. And you can get a key from God if you belong to God. He's calling on you. What are you doing about that? God, we're waiting on you. Here's what God said. Fix it. Something happening in your neighborhood. Fix it. You're in 4D. Words, man, words. Words, speak words over your finances. Speak, speak words over your bank account. Speak words over your business. Speak words over your marriage. Speak words. You see, we're trying to get everything done in 3D. Folks, you are no longer in 3D. I came to announce you are now in 4D. In Jesus' name. You got to say, wait a minute, I'm going to hear God. Why do people fast? They fast to quiet down this flesh. If you look at Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 8, look what it says. Ready? Read. Passing through the street near her corner, and he went the way to her house. In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night, and behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot and subtle of heart. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Stop right there. All right, now this is talking about a woman from a house of ill repute. She's loud and stubborn. And that's a characteristic of the flesh. It's trying to draw you in to what God didn't say. And I, can, I, can I talk over here? And, and that's where people make their mistakes. They're sucked in by this, this, this woman that loud, trying to call you, and that's the flesh. The flesh, the spirit wants to go to Bill Winston's service, and the flesh wants to go to the riverboat. And the flesh is loud, the flesh is stubborn, you know, and the war is between those two. Say amen. amen. And sometimes you got to turn the plate over to silence that woman to make her stop shouting like that so you can come on to church and learn what how to live, conduct your life. Is this the right group I'm talking to? I'm saying very seductive, see? And he stayed with Eve. He said, Eve, did God really say? He tried to make you question the scripture. The scripture says that if you tithe, that's what the scripture says. Now, now this is the Holy Spirit. Now, he ain't going to tell you nothing God didn't say. He's going to tell you tithe because I'll take care of you. If you tithe, say amen. But that woman is going to tell you, you need that for this and that. If you just obey God. Lord, I'm, I'm preaching too hard. See, some, some of y'all don't like the way I'm preaching. I feel a little pushback now. I didn't feel any while ago, but I feel just a little bit now. But that's all right. He, God's got patience. He's going to wait on you because he knows when you get out there and stomp your foot enough, he knows that pretty soon you're going to say, what am I doing wrong? I've been on the road to Mississippi for 40 years and I haven't gotten there yet. I must be messing up some way. Then watch, you're going to repent and you're going to say, where did I miss it? God said, well, come on in. Let me show you where you can make up for the time you lost. Give God a praise because that's where we're going. All right. 
Take your seats. Thank God for patience. All right. One word from God can change your life forever. Now, Satan knows that, so he tries to block the voice of God, try to block it out the revelation. Say amen to that. But I declare right now, as David said, Lord, open their eyes that they may behold wondrous things out of thy law. In the name of Jesus, from this day forward, your eyes will be open. You will hear the voice of God clearly, and only that voice are you going to follow. In Jesus' name. Say amen. amen. Now, let's keep going. Now, I'm not trying to offend you. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to tell you the truth. Because you got two minds. You got a mind of the flesh and mind of the spirit. And you got to understand that flesh is strong, that flesh is loud, so forth, because we've been used to following that. That's why uh, Satan tempted Jesus, because Jesus had what on him? Flesh. He had flesh. He knows you got flesh. That flesh was born of a woman. That flesh came from a woman. That flesh came from a sinful generation. And he knew if that flesh was on somebody, he could be tempted. So Jesus got tempted. But every time he said what? Get thee behind me, Satan. And I'm saying you can say the same thing. Get thee behind me. He tried to tempt you with a piece of strawberry cake about 11 o'clock at night. Get thee behind me, Satan. Try to t <laughs> do you hear what? <laughs> do you hear what I'm saying? Next, we're moving up to a new level of influence by producing through the Spirit, because God's going to resupply this earth through the spiritual method. Now, moving up in influence. Uh, by the production of the Spirit. How, how did I get here? Uh, God said, why don't you go to Chicago? I said, I only have uh, 200 dollars. <laughs> $200. Okay. But God was talking to my spirit. And I obeyed God by my spirit because if I had logically thought about what to do, I probably would not have done it. Why? Because many times God's ways seem foolish as we try to logically uh, be process them. So I had to obey God out of my spirit. No. I'm still obeying God out of my spirit. Because there are some people didn't think that he called, told me to do 10 cities. See, yep, 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 there are people, there are people that kind of doubted that. See, and if, watch this, when we couldn't get in here, we're down the other section, they said you can't have services in that mall. I had to hear God. I went, I said, God, what do I do? He said, pray in the spirit. He said, go to bed early, wake up early and pray in the spirit. Boom. Now you got to wake up early sometime because at daybreak, that's when Jacob wrestled. You got to get up before the tussle starts. And so what happened is I prayed in the spirit. Now this is according to Proverbs chapter 20 and verse five. I pulled something up out of the well. Yes. See, because God's talking to you. Yes. He's not going to let you be out there without him. Yes. He, Jesus said, Lo, I'm with you oh. always. He, he's there. Yes. He's got answers for you. The Holy Ghost is in you. Yes. And so I pulled it up out of my spirit. Yes. It says, read Go to visit the mayor and read Romans 13, verse 1 through 5 to the mayor. I could have said right there, that doesn't make sense. Did it? No, it didn't make sense. Make faith. And I got a little resistance. I'd like to, this is uh, uh, Reverend Winston, I'd like to talk to the mayor today about, uh, uh, Reverend, is this about that going in that building? I, I said, yes, sir. 
He said, well, she's busy today. I said, wait, 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 wait a minute, sir. I said, we just purchased the largest piece of property in this village. I said, I demand to see my man. See, I had to keep knocking. Now, all that's being led by the Spirit. Are you following what I'm saying? I got in there and just read something. Next thing I know, man jumps up like seeing a ghost or something and all kinds of things. Then, well, let me see the building commissioner. Well, Reverend, I don't know what to do. They have just voted and a law has been passed that you cannot have that. A law was passed. A law was passed. I'm telling you, we can undo laws that have been passed. I'm going to talk about it in a minute. You got to hear what I'm saying. But, but under this, this, this spiritual influence, all of a sudden, I get this thing. I just prayed for you. And the congressman said, this, this man is valuable not only to this community, he's valuable to what? The nation. The na and they saying that. Because when you're in 4D, when you're in out of the spirit, you will arise in influence. Look what he said. Here's influence, John chapter 6 and verse 2. Ready? Read. And a great multitude followed him, because they saw his miracles, which he did on them that were deceived. Stop right there. He saw miracles. Where did the miracles come out of? They came out of 4D. They came out of his spirit. And because of that, multitudes start gathering. And they'll gather wherever you are. If you start performing miracles, come on, out of 4D. You see, we're trying to get everything done in 3D. Folks, you are no longer in 3D. I came to announce you are now in 4D. In Jesus' name. And you'll be there for the day you leave this earth. Now give God a praise for that because it's there. I have just decreed it and it's in your life right now. You're going to speak things into existence. I'm telling people, listen, take your bills, put them on the table. There's still people that heard me that didn't do that yet. Put them on the table. I said, now listen, don't you do is just back off of them and speak to them. Speak to your bills. Say, bills, I'm talking to you in Jesus' name. I commend you. Be paid off. That, that, that direction didn't come out of my head. That direction came out of my spirit. And if you just do what the prophet said, do, you'll get the results that you are looking for today. Natural influence. All the people, multitudes coming. I'm going overseas. I got to go to India now. We're going, first we're going to hit Dubai, a bunch of preachers, and, and then we're going to hear, I'm telling you, we're going to move all across that whole land. But I'm saying, I, there was a time I was down at Lake Black. Show the picture. I was down at Lake Alaska. No, you got to hear it. But every step was out of my spirit. There was no step out of my mind. I didn't have the mind to know what to do. I just followed God. God told me here we were buying a copier, a tabletop copier. It couldn't help us so much, but we're in the infancy. We're up here at Madison Street and the guy, he's, he got the contract and it filled out the contract. And the guy said, now we got a church uh, special. I said, okay, what is it? It's, you can pay us over this many months and so forth. The church right down the street signed up for that. I said, oh boy, that sounds logical. Well, I said, okay. I said, put me down, let's sign something. I signed it and then he went on back and the copy was to be delivered the next week or the next week. And he came downstairs, the truck was there with the copier and he came upstairs. He said, oh, uh, Dr. Winston, uh, Reverend Winston, we got, uh, we got your copier downstairs. I said, okay, since you've been gone, the Holy Spirit has talked to me and the Holy Spirit said, pay cash for it. I, he said, no, 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 you can't do that now. You've already signed this agreement. I said, well, keep the copy. I don't want the copy. See, I'm thinking not to spend all my money because there ain't no more. There's plenty in God's house, man. There's plenty in God. You kidding me? <laughs> Woo! Okay, 
Hey, sit down, sit down. Yeah, it was two vans. And the guy said, well, uh, you're looking for a van, Reverend Winston said, yeah, hey, we got one here. Now it's got nothing in it. It's just, you know, kind of a shell and it's because seats are hard and so forth. Now we got one over here. Now this is a luxury van now, but this one costs, <laughs> uh, it costs quite a bit more than that one. I, I said, okay. I said, hey, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I said, uh, I said, well, now I'm looking, looking at money now. I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm looking at this logic up here. I said, well, let, let's just give me that one that's right here. He said, okay, well, we'll get the paperwork drafted up and uh, we'll have it ready for you uh, day after tomorrow. I said, okay, I went home. God said, wait a minute. He said, do you want to ride to Cleveland in that? Why he picked Cleveland? I have no idea. I said, no, sir. He said, then get the other one. Spend the money. I got plenty. And I went there, told the man I wanted, and I wanted cash, and I want it now. You hear what I'm saying to you? No, no, you got running out on your mind. God got running over in his mind. He knows that if you do what he said, he gonna run you over, I receive. He gonna run you over. Now you need to get out of that shortage mentality because we need to paint a picture of dominion of abundance in your life. You get that picture painted in your life, you'll never be short another day. I will never be broke another day in my life. In Jesus' name. I respect logic. You just can't walk out in front of a car. But I'm telling you this now, when God is planning for you to follow him, you got to be led by the spirit. And I claim every morning, uh, I hear the voice of God and only that voice do I follow. Every morning in my prayer, my confession. Now, new seeds, New trees, new deeds of dominion. Okay, first one is the blessing. The blessing and getting to study that and what it's about will produce a tree in your life. And when you get that blessing tree, you got a hold of something. Because that blessing tree is designed to have you to be able to possess everything that a stranger has. That's what that blessing will do. Now I won't give it, just give you the scriptures, Genesis chapter 12, verses uh, two and three in the AMP translation and also um, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. The blessing of the Lord brings wealth in the NIV and it adds no sorrow with it. The next one in the blessing is the laws. The dominion that you can have in this earth will give you the power to change laws. Amen. Say amen, amen to that. You can look at Daniel chapter three and verse 29. Daniel and the three Hebrews change the laws. You can look at Esther, Esther chapter eight and verse 13. Esther changed the laws. And you can go on down and you could look at uh, Martin Luther King's life. Say amen to that. Amen. Now, this, this idea of influence, let me give you one more on that. That influence will come because of your participation in, in spiritual operating in the spirit. Um, here's a man and his name is... General uh, Patton. Now, General Patton, you know, a lot of people see him, he's a very famous general because he came against Hitler. I mean, they feared him. But they feared him because a lot he was operating was 4D. And you can see an example of it here. We'll put it on the board and let you read it. Now, this is when his whole part of his army had stopped. And the rains came and they kept coming, kept coming, kept coming, kept coming, coming. And he couldn't move his tanks. He couldn't do anything. The devil did that. He can affect weather. 
but you have power over Satan. Amen. All right? Amen. So notice what he did here. Here's a, here's a prayer that he prayed. This is it. Ready? Read. Almighty and most merciful Father, we humbly beseech thee of thy great goodness to restrain these immoderate reigns with which we have had to contend. Grant us fair weather for battle. Graciously hearken to us as soldiers who call upon thee that, armed with thy power, we may advance from victory to victory and crush the oppression and wickedness of our enemies and establish thy justice among men and nations. Now, once he said that, the next morning, the sun came out bright, they advanced and got the victory. Now notice, Every advancement I've taken has been by the, by the su superior method of the spirit. I mean, every major advance we've taken, and you can do it too. Just understand that God is going to speak to you and he's going to tell you what to do. Say amen. And the last thing I want to close out with is the law of possession. Only what you see will be given to you. Only what you see will be given to you. Got that airplane because I could see it. Say amen to that. This shopping mall, I meditated Joshua 1, 3 until I could see it. Somebody say amen on that. Now I'm just saying for you, God's got some good things for you. Matter of fact, he wants you to be the, re the wealthiest person wherever you go. All right, and let me just say one more thing. I, God, because you were born of him, you have his nature. Watch this. And his nature is not only abundance. His nature is the best. His nature, excuse me, is lavish. Look around the throne of God and see if you see any old rusted out uh, cars around here. Come on, look around the throne of God and see, I'm just saying, if he wants you to imitate him, yes, you have every right to want the best. Yes, yes, Lord. Is it the right side? I'm on right now. I'm talking about you have every right to want the best. Jesus had the best robe, didn't he? Am I right about that? They had Jesus buried in a tomb of Joseph of Arimathea. You remember that? He would, the Bible says he was a rich disciple of Jesus. So you know he had the best. I'm saying the best is in Canaan and they are, have the best and the enemy is trying to give us a mind that says, oh, I don't need all of that. Yet you're not getting it for you. You're getting it to fulfill the covenant that God made with Abraham. He told Abraham, I'm giving you that land and your descendants. Now, when you don't want to take it, I'm going to let you die in the wilderness and I'm going to get your kids and I'm going to take them over to get the best. My name is Bill Winston and I'm done with this message. You give God praise. Well, praise the Lord. That was a powerful teaching. Now, we're talking again about 4D. And when you're living in 4D and operating in 4D, you're going to arise in influence. Now, remember Jesus, and here he was working miracles and, and doing the supernatural. Notice how the crowds just grew and grew. How about uh, Joseph, for example, in the Old Testament? Here's Joseph operating in that next level. Notice what happened. He rose to the top. He became second in command to Pharaoh in Egypt. Now, Egypt, they, they didn't particularly like the Jewish nation, but these Egyptians had to give him a proper. So, I mean, they had to, he rose in influence, became second in command. I'm saying with you right now, you start operating in 4D. Watch your influence rise, whether it's at your job, whether it's in your community, whether it's in your nation, makes no difference. It's time for you to go to the next level. Let's go to 4D and arise in influence. Influence is the best way to lead people. The best way to lead people. God wants you in leadership. 
get to tape. It'll bless you in Jesus' name. Well, this is Bill Winston saying, see you next time. Until then, keep walking by faith. If you're in 3D, you're not going to get the blessing of 4D. When you're in 3D, you will not have dominion. So you got to watch yourself and see, are you in 3D? Are you in 4D? God is going to use you to do things that you never thought you could do because he's not going to give you understanding just with your mind. He's coming in with your spirit. Revelation gives me keys. See, there's a key to that infirmity. There's a key to that marriage problem. And you can get a key from God if you belong to God. He's calling on you. What are you doing about that? God, we're waiting on you. Here's what God said. Fix it. Something happening in your neighborhood. Fix it. You're in 4D. Words, man, words. Words, speak words over your finances. Speak, speak words over your bank account. Speak words over your business. Speak words over your marriage. Speak words. You see, we're trying to get everything done in 3D. Folks, you are no longer in 3D. I came to announce you are now in 4D. In Jesus' name. Living in the Fourth Dimension, Volume 3 is available in its entirety on CD or MP3, on DVD or MP4. To order this four-part series, contact us at 1-800-711-9327 or online at billwinston.org. Today's message will assist you in discovering that you too were created to live in the fourth dimension. The fourth dimension is the unseen realm of the supernatural, where signs, wonders, and miracles consistently occur. We, the church, are to bring forth the provisions, solutions, and strategies of heaven to a hurting humanity from this supernatural realm. We trust that you have enjoyed today's teaching. It will change your life and transform your thinking. However, the greatest life transformation comes when you surrender your life to Christ. It will be the best decision you will make, and you and your family will reap the life-changing benefits of it. Call us at 1-800-711-9327 or go online to BillWinston.org and get Dr. Winston's book, Born Again and Spirit Filled. It will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to start this new life. You will be glad you did. The book is free of charge, but the change in your life is invaluable. Get your copy today. The Believer's Walk of Faith is paid for by Bill Winston Ministries partners and viewers. Now remember, you need faith to get to your destiny. So don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our videos. This is Bill Winston. I love you and keep walking by faith.